Alright guys, here we go. Today we're doing limits. So what is a limit and what do we do with them? So here we go. This is a limit right here. Uh, written out. And how do you pronounce this? Well you say limit is x to purchase 3 of the function. So this is again limit is x to purchase 3, and if there were 4 there you'd say 4, of x squared minus 4x plus 3 over x minus 3. So what do we do with limits? Well the first thing you learn to do, the first thing that you learn to do with limits is to evaluate them uh, using numerical methods. So how do you do that? Well, to evaluate the limit, in other words, we want to figure out what this is and put a number here. Uh, you approximate x and plug it into the function. So what does that mean? Well, I have an example over here, and what I've got here is x equals 3.1, and I got this number 2.1 here. So what I did was I plugged in 3.1 for x, and I got 2.1 out. So 3.1 squared minus 4 times 3.1 plus 3, divided by 3.1 minus 3 is 2.1, okay. So I did that with a bunch of values that were close to 3. And that's because x approaches 3. This is where you get the uh, close to 3 stuff over there. So 3.1, 3.01, 2.9, 2.99. You have to do both sides, uh, both uh, greater and less than. And uh, basically, if you look at the right side, this is the, va the value of the limit. And the value of the limit seems very close to 2. In fact, the closer you get to 3, this is closer than this one, the closer you get to 2, this is closer than this one. And again on the top. So basically, what I can do is, I can say the limit here is 2 based on numerical observation. All right, graphical limits. Here we go. Here's a graph, and I have a bunch of limit problems on the side with the answers already there. All right, but let's talk about them. All right, first things first, this is a plus and this is a minus sign, but what you say is you say this is the limit as x approaches 3 from the right, or from the left. Why right and left? Because, well, 3.1 is to the right of 3, and that's a little bit more than 3. So, that's what it is. And how do you figure out this, this right limit here? Well, you look at the graph and you say 3.1, 3.01, a little bit to the right. Uh, what's the value of the graph of 3.1 and 3.01 and 3.001, and what does it get close to? Now, the value of the graph, or sorry, the value of 3 is actually 3, but the value of the graph that you approach to from the right is actually 4. Because again, you look at 3.1 and 3.01, that's up here, that's not here, that's up here. So, that's from the right, from the left the same thing, so it's 2. Again, you're approaching from the left, so it's 2, so y is 2, as you get close to 2.9 and 2.99. And so, we fill out all the rest of these, you can check them yourselves. Uh, let's talk about this one a little bit. This is limit as you approach 2 from the right and 2 from the left. Well, again, 2 from the right is 2 because 2.1 and 2.01 is 2. And 2 from the left is 2 also because uh, 1.9 and 1.99 is 2 up here. So, that's all that. Now let's talk about this one. Limit as x approaches 3. Now, there's two ways to think about it. One way is to say, if the right limit and the left limit agree, then it's that's what it is. But if they don't agree, then it's what we call does not exist. So here, the 4 and the 2 don't agree. So that means the limit as x equals 3 does not exist. The graphical way to look at that is to actually cover up x equals 3 and see if the left, or see if the graph converges. And you can see that this one is 2 and this one's 4, so definitely it does not converge, and so it does not exist. All right, so let's look at this one here. Um, the limit of x approaches 1 of 2. Again, there's two ways to look at it. The left and the right limit are the same, so it exists. But if you cover this up, again, it converges, so that means the limit is 2 and it exists. It doesn't matter what this point is at all. All that matters is that when you cover it up, it gets close to 2. All right, so check your answers here and uh, do a few more problems on the board. Limits using algebraic methods. Here we go. This is really easy. Number one, you plug in two and that's it. So whenever you see a limit, the first thing you want to do is try to plug in the number for the x and see if that works. Okay? Number two, well, you try to plug in three and you get zero over zero. That's a problem. So what do you do? You try to cancel the stuff that gives you zero over zero and you're left with the other stuff that you can evaluate the limit for. So this is inside the limit. You have x approaches three of x minus 3 over x minus 3 times x minus 1. And that's equal to x approaches 3 of x minus 1, and then you have a limit that you can evaluate, and you get 2. So again, 3 minus 1 is 2. All right, limit is x approaches 0 of 2 times sine of x over x. Now, 
That's the same as lambda is x approach to zero of two times lambda is x approach to zero of sine of x over x. So again, that's two because you can evaluate lambda is x approach to zero of two. That's with no x, so you just cut two times lambda is x approach to zero of sine of x over x. This is the limit that you have to memorize. The answer is one, so the answer is two. All right, that's it. It's all for limits.